Hey everyone, Kareem right here, and today I have Sergi Nos on with us. Sergi, how's it going? Everything good. Enjoying my time here back in Barcelona and Spain with my family and my friends. So it's, it's really nice to, to be back home. Nice. And where were you before you went back to Spain? You're back home. I was. We, we just finished the season with Tormenta FC from the USL uh, here in, in the US. And we, 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 we had a, a really good season. Unfortunately, we, we were not able to, to make the playoff, um, which would have been nice. But just looking forward for the next challenge. And it was a, a, good, a good ride. Absolutely. And that's USL Championship or USL 1? USL League One, yeah. yeah. Nice. Okay, so first of all, I just want to thank you for joining us today. It's, it's a pleasure to have you on with us. Can you please introduce yourself to the viewers real quick? Yeah, of course. I'm Sergi Nuz, uh, former Tormenta FC uh, player. I'm a professional soccer player. Uh, this is going to be my third season. I, did, I went to college at the University of Virginia, where we almost won the NCAA uh, championship and the ACCC. So, uh, and then I did also my master's in, in Duke University after having to redshirt my senior year due to a, uh, a season ending uh, career, uh, season ending injury. So, uh, after that, I, there, there, uh, at Duke, there was the, you know, after the draft and everything, I, I went to Lithuania where I was there for two, three months. Uh, and then COVID happened and, and I decided to, to sign with Tormenta. Was there for a year and a half. Um, and, then, and then now looking forward for, for the next challenge. Nice. So you're originally from Spain. How did you know that you wanted to come to America? Well, I've been in America now for, for quite a long time, seven, eight years. Uh, I went there when I was 17 uh, to Fresno to a lovely community or really good uh, soccer fan base. And it was a good time to, to be there. Uh, I, I wanted to, to come to, to the U.S. because I knew that it was a, a soccer was growing there and I felt like I could uh, help the country and uh, d develop and, and improve. And it was a, a great, great experience. Nice. And you said that you had you had to get a dual citizenship. Was that process easy for you, um, or was that process hard? Well, uh, it's a lot of paperwork. It's a lot of, you know, you have to to find a lawyer, and it's a long process. Especially with COVID, it was a little harder. But um, now, now I have the, the the advantage of being resident in 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 both of the countries. So. It makes things much easier. It gives you the, the possibility to have your doors wide open for, for any, any challenge, not, not only now, but, but also in the future. Absolutely. So did you sign your first professional contract in the USO one week? Yeah, you, you could name it like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was, I was in a few MLS teams, uh, Toronto, Philadelphia, I was I was there, but my then I I moved to 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 Lithuania, uh, but yeah, the 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 first country country country. I wouldn't say it was the 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 first professional experience. I would say, but yeah, in case of naming it contract wise, yes, yes. Understood, and you know, for that being your first professional contract, how did it feel for you, Sergi? Uh, I felt I felt like it was the the right time uh, for me. Obviously, I had uh, a lot of chances to 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 go pro here in in Europe, but because of my my my, my network was here and, and everyone that I knew all the coaches that, that I knew I had a few possibilities. But because of the U.S. citizenship residency situation, I, I, it was the right move for me to stay in the US uh, and, and taking that opportunity to you know uh, start start a career over there where I uh, develop as a player and also as a person so it, it felt good uh, I knew that I wanted to go back home though when I mean home is Europe because I feel like the soccer here uh, and the IQ of the game really helps um, 
to develop my my full potential. Um, so so you know having the chance to play in in the US and and in Europe, I think it's it's great. It's an experience that not not many can say that they can have. Absolutely, and um, you know it's, as you were saying that the game of football is completely different from Europe and Spain to America. And can you just share some of the differences? to the viewers that haven't been to Spain or Europe at all? Yeah, in general, in general, it, it's different. You know, you have these clubs that, that they all have different philosophies, but at the end, it's all about winning with the promotion, relegation. If you have a bad season or if you have a bad run, uh, you know that some type of consequences will, 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 will happen around the club. Um, financially, it means, mm. means, it means a lot to, to just lose or win games. Uh, in the U.S. is different. In the U.S. is all about the process. It's all about the also the franchise about about the the community, which is also important here in the in Spain. It's just a different philosophy be, behind it. Um, it's growing a lot, and, and, and you know it's it's really enjoyable to see how how the teams are are developing. Um, but but I would say that the main difference is that not to see the uh two different cultures and, and both developing uh at the same time absolutely you mentioned a great point here promotion and regulation that's in europe and in america we don't we don't have that yet necessarily that system in place and it's a it's a closed system so promotion and regulation you did mention that there's some consequence if the team loses and i like how you shared financially so on and so forth right because if that affects a club it affects a player's um, pay salary right so that that means there's more on the line um, so you're, you know, you've had that experience in America. Now you're back home in Spain. Um, I seen on Instagram that you're at a Barcelona game. Let's, let's talk a little bit about that. Um, how, how was that experience? Was that your first Barcelona game or? No, no, no. Since I was a kid, I've been, I've been going to the, to the games and it's been, you know, me and my dad used to, to go almost every, every weekend to, to the Camp Nou because it's relatively close from my, from my, from home. So uh it's a great experience uh and you can you can feel it just with the with the fan base now being in the u.s for quite a long time here if a player misses a pass or misses a shot people are not happy and they let the player know or i'm not even telling about losing a game losing a game is like a disaster right it's like chaos uh and and in the US it's different. It's different. The people support you no matter what. They 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 appreciate your effort, which which here they also appreciate the effort. But at the end, it, if if you do not win a game, uh, the fans will make sure that 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 you know that. And and it's it's more challenging for the player. For me, I I you know I remember great nights uh, at Duke and at UVA, um, where sometimes you didn't get the the result but the the fans were still there and su supporting you and 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 here in spain it's different so it's just just interesting to see and, and great to have experienced both right yeah that's that's it's great to have both experiences so i wanted to go back a little bit once you signed your professional contract in uso one did you have an agent to help you um with the contract process or did, was that something that you just did by yourself yeah, I, I I had a few a few people which which tried to help me and and I think that's important to to choose the right uh, person. Uh, I think that you know especially early in your career you you want to make sure that there's someone uh, you know calling teams and making sure that you you will be in a place where you can fully develop. I felt like I I had a few chances uh, around the league and also in championship, but. When I went to Tormenta, uh, I felt like it, it was a good uh, place for me. And, and at the end of the day, I, I played, I think, 23 or 24 uh, games out of 28, which, which I played a, a, big, a big role within the team. I, I felt like a, a crucial player. And, and I was happy. I was happy to, to, to sign that, that, that contract. Um, and, and it's a very competitive league, you know. It's there's not much difference between championship and, and league one. It's just different because there are maybe younger players playing in USL League One. Uh, a lot of academy players, very talented. They are able to keep the ball, the tempo of the game. 
uh, sometimes it's faster and quicker than in championship where you find probably overall individually better players um but but maybe it's not you know as as, as transitional because because the youth that, that some of the teams in league one have you know you play against dallas you you play against miami you play uh again against really really good good academic kids that, that they just are careless they just want to to go after you so they can have some minutes in the mls so uh both leagues are really really interesting understood what position do you play Sergio? yeah i'm a center back defender a center back okay defender so um you know what are three things that you could share with the viewers that play in the same position as you as a center back because you're playing in the USL one very high level in the United States second division so in the pyramid so what you know what are three things that you could share with the viewers um to be better in that position first of all something that really works well with me is communication uh the more I talk the more I speak the more I I let the players know that I'm there and they feel my presence. It helps me being more focused. So usually the, the best games that I've had is when I'm, I'm the, one of the loudest uh, there. I think it's one of the responsibility. Then is 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 hard work. When I mean hard work, it means rep- repetition of, of things that you will be, be doing on the field. It just not means uh, going to the gym every day. It doesn't mean, uh, you know, sleeping 10 hours. That, that sometimes people confuse that. Uh, I'm talking about being really smart, being knowing what you're going to do in the field and making sure that you repeat that over and over again. That means in my position, you know, tackling that. That means winning headers. That means playing out with, with the ball. So um, making sure that, that you'll put yourself in the right position to, to, to develop, you know, and, and to keep growing. And then the third one probably um would be surround yourself with 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 the people that means on and off the field uh it means you know taking care of 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 the, the teammates like you and, and making sure that the, the team trust is in you because if you don't have that um you, you end up feeling like people maybe don't trust you or they don't support you when you when you have you know a bad a bad game or something like that you know so i think i think it's really really important those those three things yeah, great points. Um, what do you like about the league, Sergi? Was there anything that you liked about it? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's been quite challenging the last two, two, two seasons with the COVID and also this year. Uh, it was not easy because you played some teams four times, then other teams just two. So I, I think that this will be changed going forward where you will be playing the at the end, all of these leagues are growing really fast. Some teams going up, going down the ladder. Um, the, the the soccer in the US is still young and people have to realize that. I think that the potential is huge and we're seeing that uh, year after year the level is is better. I have no doubt that there's some players that we've played again against this year that they will be playing in Europe in top-level leagues. I mean, I, I, could, I could mention you three, four, that I'm 100% sure that they will be Playing in, in top 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 level leagues and and at the end that that's that's fascinating to 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 see because you also see some some good young coaches coming in and making a a, a good a good uh, good soccer environment and more professional so I think it's it's very exciting very exciting nice I mean so you know you come from Spain and you you're in America. Did you notice anybody, you know, did the players treat you different because you're, you're coming, you know, you're not from America, right? Did, did you notice that was it harder to, for you to break in and create relationships or did they, you know, welcome you in? How was your experience? Because I know it's different for everybody. Yeah, that's a great question. I, I think that they do treat you differently, um, maybe in college or, or, or maybe, you know, I feel like uh, you have more responsibility and people have to accept that. In my case, you know, I, I with the scholarship situations, I think that when you have a scholarship, you you have you are you are an important piece of the team, and I think that that 
some, some other players don't you just don't have a scholarship so you have to be more professional you have to work harder you have to to show them that you you so yeah the, the, the answer at the end is yes they, um, they treat you differently and obviously the language you, you're improving and stuff like that but sometimes being different it doesn't mean a negative thing uh, and in the process is the same uh, there's a lot of, of talent in america and the, the fact that they choose someone from from outside you you just have to provide different things that they don't have that means maybe more soccer iq that means more better or, or organizing the defensive line that means uh, a few things but but yeah i do think that that I've been treated differently, but it's it's positive. It's positive. Absolutely. I've experienced the same. That's why I asked that question. So it's 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 nice to hear your input on it. How important is it for you to keep a healthy body and mind? Sometimes it, it's <laughs> it it goes back um, uh, to the basics, and, and I think it's 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 crucial and um, and it's related i think that that if you have a healthy mind you will have a healthy body and and when you have some injuries or some niggles here and there your mind is not in the right place and, and just reminding yourself where we are where we are and and what we we are doing for for a living it's just the best uh thing to do in, in those moments which is not easy I've seen a lot of players in college and um, and in the pros, especially um, the last years, where where you know you, you play with great talented players that when they get injured or when things don't go their way, um, they just lose their their path and and another one comes and replaces them. Mm -hmm. That's where the cut the side of the that's the side of the game of the beautiful game being cutthroat being replaced. What sacrifices have you and your family made for football? Uh, my, my family a lot. I mean, my, my parents always bringing me to, to the games. And, you know, at the end, we, we, we forget uh, as a kid how much work is that. At the end, my, my, my parents, you know, they, they both had a stable uh, jobs. And, and, you know, we, we've been always in, in a comfortable position, but they always work. Uh, their, their jobs and then at the end they have to drive you to to practice or stay there when it's hot or stay there when it's uh cold so um they, they've made a lot and then once i decided um to leave they always supported me luckily fortunately I, i've always been with with a scholarship with full rights so economically it hasn't mean much uh of an effort for them um but at the end you know you're 17 and they have to trust in you and um, and they've always been there. So personally, I've never seen playing soccer as a sacrifice. Uh, I've had, you know, some moment where I thought, um, you know, some injuries and some tough moment where I really thought maybe, maybe we should keep in soccer, but maybe not, not playing because, you know, you put a lot into your body. It's a 30, 365 uh, work and lifestyle where you, you cannot really have a day off. Um, and I tr truly believe in that because it's it's you know a day that you're not working is a it's a day that someone else is working. So it's very competitive and it's just getting better and better every day. Absolutely. What would you do outside of soccer? You you just mentioned it. You know, would you be an agent, sports lawyer, coach? What would you want to do after? Yeah, I created. A, I'm I'm the co-founder of a of a. The app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. it's called efficiency match. We work with some of the best teams in the world. Um, we just won the NWSL with Washington Spirit. The, their coaching staff uh, uses our app, so you know we 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 help a lot of uh, young young coaches, and you know it's great animations, prepare training sessions, everything in a matter of second we also work with media and tweet in, in in many places and and that's what keeps me busy outside of soccer and me gives you also good 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 benefit absolutely that's, we should do something we should do some collaboration with that app with your app and one soccer nation that'd be awesome um second last question you know you're back in spain 
how do you plan to make the transition from just playing in America to Spain? How do you plan to break in into a team in Spain? Because the football is different. As we talked, we spoke about just, you know, a couple of minutes ago. What do you plan to do? Well, it, it's not 100% that I'm going to be moving here in Spain. I know um, I've had some some calls recently with, with some teams in America and, and uh, the window is still open to go back there. Um, I do feel like like now it's a good moment to to come back to Europe personally, uh, but but again sometimes you, you can just only control so much you know and and but but yeah you, your question is 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 great because at the end you, you have to adapt to a new culture. Uh, I've been used to many good things from there and also some negative from the US. Um, so that means having to to come here and having to adapt. You know, soccer again here is, is is different. I'm not saying harder or or not or 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 easier. It's just different, and everybody is is is. You have to win, otherwise, it, it, really bad things happen. So, it's it's exciting, and and I'm sure uh, I'll keep you posted about what the next move is. Absolutely, please do. Last question, Sergi. What's your most memorable soccer um, soccer moment? What's your most memorable football moment? Moments or moment? Yeah. Moments, like just pick one. One moment that comes straight to your mind when I ask you the question. The, yeah, there, there is a few. There is a few. I think that the college really has something special. Um, I mean, I would say maybe... Uh, I think college had, had something special where you work so hard for nine, ten months and then you just go and for two months, three months, you're giving yourself uh, a chance um, that it has to go right or, or right. You know, like there is not a, a plan B situation because everything is on the line. So uh, probably I, I remember the, the home opener against, I think it was B Villanova. Where I uh, home opener and I scored in, in overtime and, and all the stadium came came in, but I, I think that the that the most memorable moment was losing the ACC against Wake Forest mm -hmm. because uh, in college you have four years or five years where you have to you have the opportunity to make history, and that means that at the end in 10, 20 years, you'll be back and you'll see a banner right there or you'll have a, a trophy. And for me, that moment to not be able to win and to lose in the finals and, and against Wake Forest, it's one that I still think many days because, you know, especially at UBA, you're playing ACC final, which is a very big deal. Um, so for me, that that was, that was probably the, the best moment where I really felt like I had an opportunity and and we couldn't get it done. So, so probably, probably it would be that professional debut. Uh, yeah, it, it was good, but again, it just I had so many professional experiences also that I've never been like, oh, okay, now, now it's the now it's, it's bigger than 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 anything else, you know. Um, that 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 would be it. Yeah, got it. All right. Well, now I just have fun five speed questions. So you got to give me like quick answers. You got to answer them quick. That's it. Okay. Awesome. So uh, your favorite? Who's your favorite team? Messi or Sean. Favorite player? Messi. Favorite pair of cleats? Uh, Superfly. Superfly. Your favorite food? Paella in Spain. And do you have a favorite artist right now? Uh, probably Drake. Yeah, Drake is good. Nice, nice. What do you have a Spanish, a favorite Spanish artist or? No, really. I, I really listen to, to some American, American music, sometimes even country. <laughs> oh, nice. All right. Well, Sergi, uh, bef uh, before we go, um, you know, can you just share, share, um, your Instagram or the app? Where can people, uh, find you, find you or reach out to you? Yeah. My, my Instagram is Sergi news uh five uh it, very easy uh, and then the, the software that we have created is 
uh, efficiency match so it's at EFF match so just go follow them and and good things will it's really a, a great website a great a great uh, I think good you know to, to to see sports and and to see other training drills and it's always very entertaining to to follow to, to be fair absolutely guys go check that out Sergi I just want to thank you for taking the time to join us on one talk nations podcast today thank you my man a pleasure thank you